Hi there, this is Anup here and today we are going to talk about Windows Insider Canary Channel which Microsoft introduced recently, very recently and some of you have noticed if you are part of Windows Insider program, if your device is part of Windows Insider program, it got automatically changed from Dave channel to Canary channel. So that was intended from Microsoft side or it was an accident. We'll see more details about that in this video. And we will check what is Windows Insider program and how to join to Insider program and what are the new four channels which are available in the Insider program, Windows Insider program in this video. We will also talk about some of the new features introduced to the Windows Insider builds very recently and we will talk about Windows build series versions, Insider build series for each channel. To know more about those things, let's go ahead and watch the presentation and demo. Don't skip it. Let's check more about Windows Insider Canary Channel over here. What does Canary Channel, why it got automatically changed, why the channel settings got automatically changed on my device, what does the new build series number as per different channels, each Insider channel will have a different build number series and what are the enhancements, these are the details which we are going to find out in this presentation and demo. Let's go to the next slide. First of all, let's understand what is Windows Insider. If you are not aware of this program, this is a program run by Microsoft for the Windows community who is excited to get early access to new features, updates, etc. Windows Insider is an open software testing program run by Microsoft that allows users globally to get enrolled from their Windows devices. Maybe if you are running old version of hardware then probably you won't be able to join to the insider program your device needs to meet specific hardware requirement to join windows insider program so if you are part of windows 11 insider program then you should follow the guidance of hardware requirements for windows 11 and same applies for the later versions of windows as well so it is a software testing program what are the benefits you would be the first one to get new features updates of windows and as you can see over here try new features before they release to public be the first one to install and get expert tips and insights. You can directly connect to Windows Insider community and then you can get access to exclusive context and events. So these are the main benefits for Windows Insider program. But basically this is for highly technical user if you are excited about new features in Windows and if you want to know what Microsoft is cooking for the next version of Windows etc etc then you should be part of Windows Insider program. We'll see more details about Insider program, what is the stability of this releases. Also, if you want to join Windows Insider program, you can go to settings, application and then win go to Windows updates, click on Windows Insider program and click on this get started button. You need to have some prerequisites etc as I mentioned before one is hardware related prerequisite and then you need to enable sending diagnostic data options etc I will add the detailed information about this in the description of the video okay let's move to the next slide now let's check what is canary build that is introduced by microsoft very recently canary channel is the new name of dave channel this is in my perspective this is ideal for highly technical user. It will preview the latest platform changes early in the development cycle. So these builds can be unstable and it will be released with limited or not documentation. And this is important to know. All Dave channel devices are automatically moved to Canary channel by Microsoft. As per Microsoft, they send out a mail communication to all the Dave channel users and then they moved their devices from Dave channel to Canary channel 
channel as you see here now this is the description of canary channel ideal for highly technical user and it was the previous description for dave channel you can see over there but the only change you can see over here these builds can be unstable and are released with limited to no documentation dave channel description previously was there will be some ref edges and low stability and currently also the dave channel description is same this is the current description of dave channel this is the previous description of dave channel there are some changes it is not exactly same this is not exactly accurate statement canary channel is the new name of dave channel but for easy understanding we can say something like this but the only difference is maybe there won't be much documentation and there won't be any blog post releases for canary channel and initially it will be a weekly release but maybe in future similar to microsoft edge canary channel it could be daily or two times per week or three times per week microsoft not announced any details about that at the moment you need to wait and see what would be the frequency of canary channel build release initially it is going to be a weekly release but we will see what will happen in the future so you got an idea about canary channel now and my device is part of canary channel more details about that in the demo let's move to the next slide this is also important information switching between the channels allowed or not allowed because as i mentioned microsoft recently changed all the devices from dave channel to canary channel and is it possible to change the channel from canary to dave as per microsoft no it is not possible you need to do a clean install so if you want to change from canary channel to dave channel it is not possible as per microsoft documentation but as you can see over here on my windows 11 inside a build device i can see this option is enabled these two options are disabled beta and release preview channel options are disabled i cannot select okay i cannot select these options but this one is enabled even though microsoft says we cannot change from canary channel to dave but i never tried this probably it will automatically revert to the canary channel if at all you change to dave channel so the only option is clean install this is the actual statement insiders cannot switch to a channel that is receiving bills with lower build numbers without doing a clean installation of windows 11 and it is because of technical setup requirements but people whose devices are automatically changed from dave to canary recently is on the same build series 2500 my dave channel build series was also 25000 so probably that is why i am getting this option over here but i will go with microsoft support statement that to change from canary to dave you need to do a clean install that will erase your applications etc etc now let's look into the initial build series per channel canary channel build versions will be under 25000 series and dave channel 23000 series and beta channel is 22000 series now let's move to the next slide now this is the latest build microsoft release 25314 and what are the new things which microsoft introduced with this particular version of release file recommendation is one of the feature they introduced for file manager new file manager similar to start menu recommended files applications etc there's something called recommended in file manager as well this is only applicable for ad logged in users so personally i have logged into my windows insider build with local account or microsoft personal account in that scenario recommended files won't be available let's look at the local security authority lsa protection you can enable the lsa protection from the settings over here under windows security you can enable that 
effect you need to remember that you need to restart the device to take this effect so lsa protection helps protect against the theft of secrets and credentials used for log on by preventing unauthorized code from running in the lsa process and by preventing dumping of process memory now let's go to the next slide i was checking whether the canary build is enabled for windows insider for business or not there's a program called windows insider program for business that is for business or organizations to test their devices with the latest updates of windows so that they can be ready with the next version of windows release when i check the group policy with this particular build latest build manage preview build group policy doesn't have canary build option or canary channel option it has dev beta release preview release preview for quality updates only these are the four channels available maybe they are not planning to introduce windows insider program for business with canary channel we don't know maybe in future releases they will update the group policy and include the canary channel we will wait and see let's quickly check what is the latest update in the insider program what is the new channel which microsoft introduced recently it got updated to the latest version of the insider program and if i can go over here click on windows insider program from the settings apps you would be able to see there's a new build channel over here insider build channel called canary that is basically the newest one which i can see on my windows 11 insider laptop this is ideal for highly technical users as per microsoft it previews the latest platform changes early in the development cycle these builds are related to limited documentation without extensive validation these can be very unstable but i don't know how i got into canary channel because i was enrolled into the dave channel but it got automatically changed recently to canary and i'm fine with that and this is this is my production device so i use it day in day out let's see what is the experience and the latest build i got on this device is 25314 and you can see there is a note over here to go into the details of this particular build four channels in the windows insider program this is the first one canary channel and this is the second one that is dave channel canary is only recommended for highly technical users a limited documentation and it can be very unstable dave channel is for enthusiasts low stability beta channel early adopters and the fourth one is release preview this is for commercial users if you want to check the specific feature and test it etc etc and over here you will have an option to exit or opt out of insider bills you can toggle the switch and this is available for beta and release preview channels if you are in this channel or in this channel this option is available this toggle switch is available for you turn this on to stop getting preview bills when the next major release of windows launches for example if microsoft is going to release the next version of windows that is probably windows 12 then you can opt out of that insider build by using this toggle switch and if you want to unenroll immediately there's another option but that is more impactful i would say it will erase all your data and you need to install a fresh copy of windows but with this option unenroll this device when next version of windows releases that is more secure because it is going to keep all your apps drivers and settings etc so you are not going to lose anything let's check what does the latest things available in 25314 version of windows click on that that's interesting when i clicked on that it opened a bing chat the new bing with the chat option that's interesting now i'm going into announcements over here in the announcements what you can see is these are the main new things in this build 25314 you can see if you click on menu key by selecting one of the file in the file explorer you will get all the right click options i was checking what is menu key menu key is this one huh? if you don't know menu key is this one 
ओके our canary canary channel won't receive daily bills however we we may ramp up releasing build more frequently in the future so it is good to know that i am not going to get daily bills but microsoft will ramp up releasing bills more frequently in the future just quickly wanted to show something interesting if i go back over windows updates and if i go to update history you can see it is updated latest build and if you click on the see what's new is an interesting option over here these are all not part of this particular build but it is kind of highlighting that okay what are the new things snipping tool recording option is there energy recommendation option is there then notepad multi tab option quick assist option then discover search highlights option photos improvements create folders in the start menu copy the files between the tabs all those options are explained in this slider favorite files recommended files option quickly create calendar event start focus sessions anytime new personalize emojis clip champ open games with a single touch backup and protect and then security these are the main things but these are not part of this particular build but it was recently released let's try phone link i was looking for this option iphone option but it is still coming soon on my latest windows insider build i don't know why let's wait for it now that you have seen all the details about windows insider canary channel dave channel beta channel these are the four channels which we explained in the presentation and demo in this video you might have decided which channel you want to go into just a quick recap all the dave channel existing dave channel devices are migrated to canary channel automatically this is done by microsoft and as per microsoft they have sent a mail about this change and after that they have changed it automatically they changed from dave channel to canary channel but if you look at the description of canary channel it is same as dave channel dave channel's previous description that means canary channel is for highly technical people and there won't be much documentation about canary channel releases etc etc and dave channel is for enthusiasts etc etc we have also seen about the group policy options for windows insider for business the group policy option has not included canary channel at the moment whether that will get changed in the next coming versions we don't know we'll wait and see hope this was helpful to you thank you all for watching see you around